It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 345, and I'm Dr. Neil, your host of the show. Welcome back to another special Friday edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your questions. On the other days, I read health and fitness blogs to you like an audiobook. Now, today's Q&A is sponsored by Talkspace. Talkspace is the online therapy company that lets you choose from over 1,500 licensed therapists. Get matched with your perfect therapist who can put you on the path to a happier life. For a special offer just for you, visit Talkspace.com slash OHD. Thank you, as always, to everyone in advance for sending me your questions. Remember, if I haven't answered your question yet, I promise I'll get to it. Just stick with me and I will answer it. Now let's hear today's question and start optimizing your life. Hello, Dr. Neil. This is Patricia Flores, and I'm sending you this message, first of all, to say thank you for your podcast. It's very inspiring to hear you every day and to hear all the other podcasts from Optimal Living Daily. My question is, I'm a world traveler. Um, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I'm a constantly touring around the world. And it affects my health a lot because I've always been a curvy girl. I've always had um, issues with with carbs and stuff like that. So every time I'm on a diet, it takes a very long time for me to lose weight. So I wanted to ask you for advice. How can I do this and still see progress? So if you could give me some tips to maintain a healthy lifestyle while world traveling. And I really, really want to keep you know, working on my field, but be able to be healthy on the way, but also by visiting so many different countries. I would greatly appreciate an answer. And thank you so much for everything that you inform on your podcast. It's very inspiring, motivating, and it definitely makes me feel focused and happy every morning while I'm getting ready for work or for my daily routine, or to just make a new song or a new collaboration. Thank you so much. Uh, Have a great day. Thank you for your question, Patricia. And thank you so much for listening to all of our podcasts. It is my pleasure to share my knowledge with you. First, I must say that I am envious of your career. In college, my lifelong dream was to be a rock star. And I think I could speak for my brother when I say that was his dream as well. In fact, We had a real band and everything, or at least we thought we were real. We were so good, we placed fourth in a local Battle of the Bands competition, and that was out of five bands, so we weren't that good. We wanted to get signed and tour the world. Alas, that never happened. But I digress. So again, just super jealous of you, and thank you for indulging me. Now back to your question and your concerns. I like that you've already begun to notice your patterns and what behaviors may be holding you back. This is the most important step when it comes to getting the results you want. For example, you mentioned that carbohydrates may be one of those nutrients that you may overindulge in. In this case, the good news is, no matter where you are in the world, we can easily recognize which foods are loaded with carbs and which aren't. The trick really is then, can you consume less carbohydrate when you're out on the road? I will say this is definitely possible. Now let's say you're in Argentina and find yourself on the road. And imagine the only thing available to you is empanadas. For those of you who are not familiar with this dish, it's basically a meat-filled pastry. The meat is usually mixed with a number of other fillings like cheese or corn and lots of other stuff. It's kind of like an English pasty. Now, because the entire filling is wrapped in pastry dough, we can safely assume this is a high-carbohydrate food. So one thing you can do is share the empanada with one of your bandmates or eat mostly the filling. You also mentioned Italy, known of course for their pasta and pizza and variety of breads and amazing desserts. So carb, 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 and more carb. So here, the trick will be to consume protein-rich foods and vegetables first and then move on to the carbohydrates last. So yes, eat the salads first. Then, any fish, meat, poultry, and finally, the pasta. That way, you'll fill up on the protein and vegetables and will be less likely to go overboard on the carbs. With regards to progress specifically, 
especially when it comes to your body shape or your body weight. This can be measured in a number of different ways depending on your goals. We can't always rely on what we see staring back at us in the mirror. Our eyes can fool us. We can't always rely on what other people say either. They have their own lens through which they see the world. We have to rely on less biased means of determining progress. Luckily, many exist. Now, when it comes to weight loss, ways to track progress would be, of course, looking at that number on the scale. But this isn't always accurate. This is because, first of all, if you're on the road, the scales that you're gonna be using, if they do happen to have one at the hotels you're staying at, will be calibrated differently. You can't always rely on those. Also, the scale can't tell you whether you're holding on to more water weight today when compared to yesterday, or whether you're building muscle. Often, taking actual measurements around your waist and hip can be a more accurate way to determine if pounds are being shed around those areas that count. But given your hectic schedule, this is probably unrealistic. You could also get your body fat percentage checked, but see my last response. All is not lost though. Here's a trick that you have known about but may not use. See how your clothes are fitting. So when you're in the dressing room at your next gig, oh yeah, I I know the lingo, pretty cool, huh? And you slip into your outfit, okay, maybe not outfit, your getup, your costume, uh, you get the idea. Take a moment to think about whether it's fitting more loosely, more snug, or pretty much the same. If you notice any difference, where do you feel it? Is it around the belly, the waist, the hips, the legs? If your clothes start to feel loose around the belly, waist, or hips, you're probably on the right track when it comes to your weight loss efforts. If they're feeling a bit more snug in those areas and the outfit didn't just come out of the dryer, then it may mean that some diet modifications need to be made. But again, remember the priority here. I'm not saying you need to go low carb. Just think about consuming less carbohydrate. Since you identified carbohydrates as the nutrient that typically sets you back, that's why we're picking on that one. And to eat fewer carbohydrates, eat the protein-rich foods and the vegetables first, then move on to the carbohydrate-rich foods last. This slight change, if done consistently, can make a big difference. Thank you again for the question, Patricia. You'll be entered into a very small raffle every month to win a book from us. And thank you to Talkspace again for keeping this show alive. Talkspace is the online therapy company that makes it easy to connect with an experienced licensed therapist that you pick based on your preferences. And it's very affordable, much less than traditional therapy. You can send your therapist text, audio, and video messages, or even do a live video chat. Talkspace therapists are fully licensed and go through a rigorous screening process. Plus, they've done thousands of hours of supervised professional training. So, to match you with your perfect therapist, go to Talkspace.com slash OHD. And we have a special just for you. You can use the coupon code OHD to get $30 off your first month, all while showing your support for this podcast. Again, that's code OHD, and you can use that at Talkspace.com slash OHD. And that's another week of Optimal Health Daily in the books. Thank you for listening every day and all the way through. I hope you have a wonderful Veterans Day weekend and thanking all of the veterans for their service. I'll see you back here on Monday where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.